It may not be windy at your house yet, but later on, oh yeah, very windy for the lower half of the Snake River Plain. Uh, we got very windy conditions from Blackfoot, maybe just north of Blackfoot, maybe as far north as Shelley, all the way down to Pocatello and then towards the southwest into American Falls. Under a wind advisory, winds will gust as high as 50 miles per hour overnight. That's really enough to get your attention if you're up and about. Rain possible too overnight with that wind, and some of that rain may linger in the morning, at least for the northern half of the Snake River Plain. And for all of us, a much cooler day. Temperatures running about 20 degrees cooler than they were this afternoon. And what's causing all the ruckus? Yet another cold front marching across the state. Did a number or two around the Boise area. So very heavy rain and then the wind. Now it's headed our way into East Idaho and there's some snow associated with that. Looks like snow falling just south of Twin Falls basically over the south hills of the Magic Valley. That's where some of the windiest weather is. That's why the southern half of the state is under a wind, a wind advisory, which includes the lower Snake River Plain. And then once this front moves on out of here by late tomorrow morning, the wind should start to really relax out there. But you can see the moisture radar showing rain all around us up to the north and to the southwest. So don't be surprised if it's wet tomorrow morning when you get up. Maybe you got a few raindrops on the windshield, but Hopefully no snowflakes, but if you're going to the mountains, I wouldn't be surprised if you see a few snowflakes tomorrow morning. 42 for a low temperature at Pocatello. Wind advisory until 6 o'clock in the morning. This is a sustained wind speeds 25 to 35 miles per hour. Thankfully, not quite as windy for you, Idaho Falls. Still enough of a breeze out there to notice. Rain showers are likely with a low temperature of 39, so it will stay as rain. And then tomorrow, there's a chance we could see some showers in the morning with a high temperature of only 50, so a lot cooler and the breeziness will continue out of the southwest 10 to 20. Pocatello, not a whole lot warmer, only 51, almost 20 degrees cooler than it was today. I think during the daytime, it will be dry, mix of clouds and sunshine. We'll probably get a little sunnier as the day wears on. The winds will start to relax too in the afternoon, but very windy before sunrise tomorrow. Thursday's temperature map are all cooler. No 60s on this map. There's some 50s, certainly some 40s. And one spot in the 30s, 38 for high in Yellowstone. So they got not just rain, but snow in their forecast. Travel tracker, rain and snow possible in Jackson tomorrow morning. And then rain showers will scoot eastward. Maybe some rain showers over the upper Snake River Plain. But I think, Salmon, you're looking at a partly city day with a high temperature of 51. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven-day forecast. Looking ahead, back in the 60s. That didn't take long. We're in the mid to upper 60s this weekend. And then we're back in the icebox. Cold weather, chance of rain on Monday afternoon. Otto Falls, enjoy those 60s. Almost 60 on Friday. We'll definitely be there this weekend. And then we got some rain perhaps on Monday. And then this is going to be a cold one next week. Cold enough we could see rain and snow on Monday. And then the cold will just linger beyond that. Blackfoot seven-day forecast. Almost 70 for high on Saturday, 68 Sunday. And then all that goes away, only in the 40s for highs. Teton areas, rain and snow perhaps tomorrow, rain and snow Monday, rain and snow Tuesday, and a chance of all snows. So next Wednesday, the moral of this story, get out and enjoy this weekend because after the weekend, oh, good thing it won't be the weekend. It's going to be cold with rain and snow possible in the central mountains on Monday.